I will show you how to use SPSS uh, to analyze the data. The SPSS is also stands for statistical product and uh, service solutions, but today no one really uh, is trying to use such a long name. This culture is called SPSS. In the field, everybody knows this is for biostatistical analysis. So this is very commonly used. This uh, will be a series talks uh, to cover uh, various uh, applications to use SPSS to do analysis. Uh, I would like to start with something very basic in terms of uh, in a brief introduction about the SPSS. SS. How does it look like? How to uh, entry your data and how to edit your data as a starting point for this uh, short talk. Now I will bring an example to show you how to do it. So let's see here. So we're going to open SPSS. So this is your SPSS when you open you can use a file, open, etc. This is how it look like when you, when you open the file. It has two windows. The first window is called a data view. This is your data view. The second window is called a variable view. Here is your variable view. Let's go back to this. When you start your SPSS, on the top you can see a list of a row of functions. You have file, edit, view, data, etc. If you click each one, it gives you a column. So various functions. In this file, we use this quite often. It's called a new, open, import. Also, save as is here. Always save your data after you do your analysis. Now you have an edit function. And you have a view. Uh, data, this is a very common used. You can sort your data, use this function, sort cases. And this is a very commonly used. It's called a select cases. Here's the transform. This is very commonly used, compute variables. The analysis, the analyze is the most commonly used. This is for the descriptive uh, statistics. Uh, we have um, explained what uh, is statist uh, descriptive uh, statistics in our lecture. Then you can use compare means. You can do the regression, correlation, non-parametric analysis. You can do graphs, etc. So this is very this is called a menu bars. Menu bar. Now in the data view here, you can see the row and the column. Each row represent one person's information. For example, this is DB. We can give a code called ID number. We can say it's gender, it's a female, if it's one, then the age. Therefore, you see those data can be like a continuous variable. This is called the interval data. It's a continuous, you can have 23, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, etc. The gender is really binary, it's only male and the female data. So this is called a nominal data. This is the name, just the name, also the nominal data. So this is the first window. When you click this window, it's called a variable view. In the variable view, then you can see the row and the columns. Let's see the row. This is about the name, as we said before, Davy, Paul, etc. 
Then top of data, this is a, a normal data. So we put a string there. You can select from here, say string data. Okay. Now for the age, for example, this would be numerical. Age, you can have uh, 21, 22, 23. Therefore, you need to tick numeric data. For the gender, it's not really numerical. You only have a male and a female. Then you tick string data. Then this is a width, how wide this column. Uh, normally we just keep like that. Then this gives you a decimal point, zero, two, not to put too many, otherwise very confused, the decimal points. Then you can give the, the label, say the name. For this one, gender you have, you can define, you say I want to put a, um, you can really type for example, points. you can say male, is one and the female will be two. Now values, we don't put value here. The male is one, so we needed to put it in. Value one is male. Let's put eight. Then two will be female then you say eight then will be defined so any other things we don't have to define that's fine so this is how you're going to use this uh, uh, different face or a different uh, you know page of your of your screen to see the data to see the data so the next topic we're going to see how you're going to enter the data. The first one when you open it, it says it's new data. Actually you can just type in called a Davy. For example, you can if you have a data there you can type it in. Say here. I just to reduce this. So I have made some data here. Okay. Here's the data I want to type it in. I'll show you how to type the your data in. So I say number one. This is a put a day B. It's number one. Here number two. I put a poll. Jessica, number three. Greg, number four. So, Davy, I put a number. Here's the ID number. So, the ID number here, I will put a one. Two, three, four. I just give an ID number. And I'll put a gender. Name is female. I will put a one. Oh, here I want to change. We have changed it before. Male is one. Female will be two. Here will be baby is female. Put a two. Paul is one. Jessica two. Greg is one. The age I will put it here. Twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-six, and the twenty-nine. So now I've uh, entered those data as a new new data. Then you click the variable view, then you're going to put it here. This is a name, 
the number two variable is gender was it so was ID and number three this is gender number four you put age the type of the string this is a gender is a string and you can change those you can put a name says name the same as we had before the ID now here it's the male you can put a one female equals two the age you can still put age there then in terms of variable you need to put here male is one say eight and value is two be female then you add it in say okay now you got your data set this way when you do this is to one way to create a new data you can type one by one in now the second type this is called the existing data so you don't have to type every time you can just go and open they open the existing data for example this one I have just I have already made one for example last time I have saved I just open there you can say open a new window this is your you saved last time so this is the second type of method you can just uh, open from existing from your existing data okay, I might close this one just open it too many so this, then the third time the third way to open to have the data input this is called you can import data from Excel data sheets you just go to file and go to import data you click Excel when you click Excel you find this data for example muesli bar consumption how many muesli bar are eaten for individual so you say open they will ask you which data sheets you want to open you say the first one you can have second or third spreadsheets in your Excel data um, then you can select the one which you want to do the analysis and you just say okay now you have opened the data from your excel sheets just don't don't forget you just you need to save your data otherwise you have to do the whole lot again so in summary we have introduced three ways three ways to in, uh, to import uh, to uh, get your data this is called a data input the first one is the new you can enter the new data uh, the second one this is called exi you open the existing data or the third one this is you can open your data or from uh, Excel database so this are three ways to open it so you can also do the data editing so data editing you just go in to do some uh, uh, work I'll show you how to do it so for example I open another data open another bigger data this data is called a bipolar 49 in this one you can edit it actually you can say um, data sort you can sort the data by using this function say I will sort by the disease you bring to the sort by 
ascending, that's fine, it's a sort. This is out of sort of disease, you can see here, all this is a one. Here, all the twos are here, so it's a sorted. You can sort actually two things at the same time. You can say, say, go to data, sort cases. You can sort a disease first, then go by the gender. You can say sort. Now here, what you have got here is the patient, which is a number, so one, male, here. So from here to here, we have one, two, three, four, how many, 13 patients are, fem are males. Then we have from here to here, the patients who are females. So you can sort, of, this is a ter uh, two, will be normal males, normal female subjects in my study. So this is how you can do the editing. Also, you can actually insert, if you right click, how you sort it. I thought you can also put the insert, edit, insert. If you see, you can put the insert, you can insert a new column here. So you can do some editing here when you see this. Sometimes you see the data is very strange. For, for example, height, this one. This is in the centimeters. Sometimes when you do the sort, sorting, so going by the height, for example, you can go by the height. Here, height in centimeters. Bring it over. No, I don't need this. Don't need this. If you sort, okay, you see the height from 100, uh, 1 meter 64. 183. However, if there is something here like like a, I don't know 250, right? Then you sort, say, sort the case by height. So you see here, a quick have a quick look. Suddenly you got someone's 250. Therefore, this must be wrong, something wrong, something happened. Therefore, this allows you easy to pick up something really out layer. Or sometimes the data is missing. With so many data, you can't see it. But now still, you have 49. Sometimes you can have, in, I don't know, 200, 2000. But it's very hard for you to find out where it's missing. So here, you will be able to do uh, sorting, then trying to find out any strange number or more missing data. Okay. So, with that, we do a summary. What we have done today is what did the introduction? What did the SPSS mean? We introduced the menu bar. We saw a data view and a variable view, two different views on the screen. And uh, we can see some uh, uh, labels there. And we mentioned three, type of, uh, three types of data input and the new data input. Existing data bring from the old saved data. And the third one is just a straight import the data from Excel sheets. We also mentioned data editing. Now, we have tried to use this uh, uh, BioPolar 49 database to do some editing. Now, here will be your practice. Now, this is your practice how to input 
your data. Now here's the how do you input. Then this give you a little bit uh, 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 exercise which we haven't described yet, but you can try. Here's uh, the second uh, uh, question. You can try to enter those data to do a little bit of practice. Thank you.